Well, we just had an awesome evening last night. Me and the boys went down and got stuck into a bunch of mullet. Go get him, boy. Go get him. I'm back in the fishing game. For a while there, I was just a hook baiter. <laughs> the tides have turned. Now, I'm back fishing again, almost. I'm just showing these young fellas how to bait their own hooks, so I don't have to continually bait hooks while they're catching fish. So, here goes. Hook baiting 101. That's it, bro. Right through the middle of the meaty bit. It's a bit tricky, eh? You'll get the hang of it, though. Practice makes perfect. You getting some out there too, Charlie? No. Yeah, get a little bit out to bait your hook because we need to rebait yours because the muller ate all the bait. Here, go down to the water so you don't catch Jack. Again. <laughs> Alright, chuck it out. What we're doing here is just snapping its neck. A quick and easy way to kill the fish. Good work, hooks. Whack it in the bucket. What'd you catch, bro? Oh, he caught a bloody weed. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Mate. Yeah, mate, wind it up, cast her out again. You got him? Yeah! No! I got one! Yeah! Sweet, bro. How are you doing baiting the hooks, bro? Hard. Got to go through that meaty bit. Yeah, no, that's what I'm doing, but it's hard. All right, I'll show you again, eh? Mm -hmm. Here, you get that back. Get off for Charlie there. How many is in there, bro? Heaps. How many? 20? 15? 100. 100, not quite 100. Enough for a good feed, though, eh? Yep. Uh, we decided to come down and see if we could catch a kawaii because this fella over there pulled one in before and lo and behold Charlie's hooked up on something pretty decent. We've got the heavy duty boat rod so he's working to bring it in. What do you got Charlie? What do you reckon it is bro? I don't know. What do you reckon? Salmon or a kawaii? Kawaii. Kawaii? Feel like a kawaii does it? Can you see it? Oh there it is. That's it, keep coming. Good one, mate, good work. Oh, it's got some grunt. That's it, walk it out. Whoa! Lift your rights up, keep your rights up, walk it. Go, mate, go, 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 go. Oh, it's going out, no, go back towards it. That's it, wind it down, keep winding, wind, 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 wind. Keep winding, bro. Keep winding. That's it. That's it. Pull it out. Go. Drag it. Go. All right. We got it. Yeah, come pick it up, buddy. Awesome. Good work. Grab the spinner. Lift it right up. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Got it tight, hold it real tight, mate. That's it, lift it up. Whey! Give me five, bro. Good work. What a great fighting fish these are, eh? So much power. Must be like fighting a marlin for the young fella. Oh, you got one. You got one. Oh, keep that rod to up, bro. That's it, keep the rod to up. Take your time, mate, no hurry. What do you reckon, Jack? It's a biggie. It is? Yep. What do you reckon it is? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the one, one the ones we caught. A kawaii or a salmon? Kawaii, I think. Get that rod up. Nice. We got the, uh, the heavy duty boat rod. So even though there's not much bend in the rod, that fish is actually putting up a hell of a fight. That's it, keep it going. Oh, he's taking line, he's taking line. Whoa, he's screaming out. Look at that line peel off that reel. Whoa. 
What a good run. Good work, boy. That's it. Keep it going. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and these fish are so awesome. They've just got so much raw power. When they want to go, they just put their head down and they just give her. Is he getting close? Can you see him yet? Yeah. Keep that rod up. Keep the rod up. That's it. Keep it up. Good work, bro. That's it. Now pull. Wind down. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Awesome. All right. What's that dog? What is it? Who get him? Who get him? Go get him. No, I think this is better than your one, then bigger. Look, is it bigger? We keep saying uh, five more casts, and then on the fifth cast, last time we hooked up, and then we had five more casts, and we hooked up again, and then that one got off, so we might have to have five more casts, eh? Hey? Just the boys tonight. Mum's on holiday on the other side of the hill, so we can stay out all bloody night if we want. Good work, mate. My feet are frozen. Your feet are frozen? Same, we should have lit a fire, eh? Yeah. We'll do that next time, eh? Okay. Alright, jump up, bro. Grab one of those fish. Tough as old boots, that boy. What do you reckon, oi? So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to cold smoke a car wire. Now brining, brining is quite important. What brining does is it removes moisture from the flesh. Now there's a couple of different ways to brine. Uh, the way I prefer to do it is to mix salt, water, sugar and a bit of vinegar in a bucket. Now you need to use a lot of salt. Used unidized salt if you can. Uh, and you need to put enough salt in the water to float a potato. So what I'll do, I'll just keep pouring salt and stirring it in until the potato I've got in the bucket of water floats to the surface. And then add a bit of sugar so it's kind of salty sweet and a dash of vinegar as well. You can put all sorts of crap in here. You can put bay leaves and cloves and peppercorns and, and uh, all kinds of weird and wonderful stuff into your brine. I like to keep it simple. And then I like to put the spices and other flavorings just on top of the meat before I smoke it. Now this is cold smoking guys, not hot smoking. It's a different process. It takes five to 12 hours to cold smoke something and uh, it's the, the taste is a lot different. There's only a few things you can cold smoke. Bacon is one of them, uh, fish is another, salmon. Salmon is probably the most popular cold smoked uh, consumer product out there. Uh, another way to brine your, your flesh or your fish is to pack it in salt. Uh, a mate of mine just packs it in rock salt. He puts the whole, buries the whole fish in rock salt overnight and this draws out the moisture from the fish. Now once you've brined your fish, you need to, to air dry it. So I'll brine it, I'll take it out of the brining mix, um, pat it dry with a towel, and then I'll hang it up in the breeze. All right, I'm gonna try this um, this outer wood pellets from, from Smoke Eye sent me, sent me down these. He reckons, Tony reckons they're his favorite, so we'll give him a crack. Hopefully they'll, they'll do the business. Alright, so I've just put a really simple selection of herbs and spices in there. I get a, a bay leaf, some Himalayan rock salt, pepper, sugar, and I smash it all up in a mortar and pestle, sprinkle on top. And uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good recipe I reckon. There's a whole bunch of different stuff you can use. You can just put salt and pepper here. You can put nothing at all on top. You can put chili or whatever. All right, that's my preferred mixture that I've, I've come to use over the years. I usually use cardamom and some, um, oh, what do you call that stuff? I've forgotten. Oh, coriander. Coriander seeds in there as well. Um, I didn't have any of those on me this time, so I didn't put them in. Um, I'll leave the skin on. I think leaving the skin on keeps that fish nice and moist. So now that it's in there, 
we've turned this little unit on here let's turn it on high and light the sides of it <coughs> oh yeah <coughs> it's arming now <coughs> oh <coughs> that's the stuff <coughs> this is called hotboxing the smoker <coughs> And there's the result. Have a taste, Sam. That was actually my cracker. <laughs> You're welcome. Is it delicious? Mm -hmm. I made it just for you. Is that the best smoked <laughs> fish you've ever had? It's pretty bloody good, eh? I'm really happy with that result. That is such a good result. That was about uh, 11 hours cold smoking. Brined overnight. 11 hours in the cold smoker oh my God, with uh, alder and hickory and I finished off with a little bit of manuka. It really is bloody good. I've written, I've written another song, and I call it The Main Road. So I'm going to give it to Dean so he can join it onto his bridge. <laughs>